Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 7, a.k.a. Episode V.I.I. of Stranger Things entitled The Bathtub. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There are links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry is going to do his best work behind the scenes. They need to find a portal. They need to figure out a way to get into the other side. And we've watched two other people. We've watched a couple people actually do it now at this point. But we know the Hawkins Lab has a place. We know that uh, Jimmy John, Johnny, and Nancy are trying to team up to make the dream work. That didn't even sound right. And then go fight this thing. They have bear traps. But this episode's entitled The Bathtub. And they mentioned the bath in the last episode that she would submerge herself. Eleven would submerge herself in with that headgear. So maybe if they use some sort of body of water, even a bathtub, maybe they can trigger that same effect. Uh, is the only thing I can think of about why it would be reason, why it would be titled that. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Let's see what we can learn. Let's see what we can see. Jerry. All right. Um, I'm happy you're home. Me too. Home. Lucas, I think he's in trouble. Do you remember how he said he was looking for the gate? Yeah. What if he found it? What's he saying? I don't know. He's way out of range. Lucas, if you can hear us, slow down. We can't understand you. Yes, I can't be. I thought I thought Lucas was under fire, bro. Man, Lucas is fucking booking it. Does that mean anything to you? Like a code name or something? The bad men are coming! Bad men. Bad men. Stay here. Oh, bro, Paul Blart. He done pulled up? Well, I know she and Steve have been spending some time together, so I thought maybe... Well, is, is he home? I'm Maybe fine. you could ask Mom. him. I'm sorry. I, I, hold on, please. Michael, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Scheduling times. repairs. What? Is there anyone supposed to come and do the repairs on the house? Nah, multiple. Yeah. Power and light. Look at these fucking goof nuts. I don't understand. What, is there something? Y'all must be some weak leg little kids because I can for sure ride my bike through that grass. But okay, there we go. Oh, dang it. We gotta go. What you gonna do? Hey, baby! Hey, fuck those people in that van in particular. She done made friends, and let me tell you something there, Frankie. Don't shit come between the power of friendship. Made that whole van flip over? Imagine being that guy. What if you were just an actual repairman just driving down the street? See these kids? Like, what are these kids in the middle of the road? Next thing you're flying. Dead. Terrible. Holy, holy shit! Did, did you see what you did to that van? No, Dustin. We missed it. I mean, that was, that was, that was awesome. It was awesome. What'd I tell you? Lucas will come around. Everything I said about you being a traitor and stuff. I was just joshing. I was wrong. I'm sorry. That's... I'm still fine. I'm sorry. No, friends don't lie. I'm sorry too. Shake. Shake. My ear itches. Shake. There you go. Hell yeah. Stranger Things by the Duffy Brothers. Honestly, if my last name was Duffer, I'd want to change it to Duffy. 
Chapter 7, The Bathtub. Your boy assaulted a police officer. Take that, them off. I am afraid I cannot do this. Take them off. You heard her. Take them off. Chief, I get everyone's emotional here, but there's something you need to see. <laughs> I just appreciate Hopper backing her up saying, yeah, take them off. You got no power here, brother. Why don't you give me a try? Just go to his office. Come on, Hopper's being stern around these other peeps, bro. Go find that pallet. Yep. Wig. Hair from a wig. What's that got to do with anything? That's my thing, bro. If you open, if I open the door and you show me a badge, I'm just gonna say what. Fuck's I got to do with anything? I'm in here playing Crash Bandicoot, cousin. What you want? Can answer that. Oh my God, is she Russia? You can't treat us like this. Everybody's scared of the Russians back then, brother. Come into my house and you tell me that my son is hiding some girl. Yeah, hey, you you throwing this slander at me? You can't tell us why. You can't give you us no information. But calm? Yeah, as a mother, you expect her to remain calm. Look at you. Wait, soldiers out front. Do they make like light bulbs or something? No, weapons to fight the Russians and commies and stuff. Weapons. Oh, Jesus, this is bad. Really bad. The place is like a fortress. Well, what do we do? I don't know, but we can't go home. Got to roll for initiative, brother. G guys, do you hear that? Hey, dude, hi. Hide inside the bus. There's a bus right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Tell the man I'm trying. She can do things. What kind of things? Like. Like Professor X, bro. Make you fly. Piss yourself. What? Was she alone? She always hangs out with those losers. Those losers? Who? What losers? Come on, man. Piece it together. God, dog, Steve, your face is fucked. I could have done that. Done what? You know what? You mean call her out for what she really is? Oh, that's funny because I don't remember you asking me to stop. I should have put that spray paint right down the throat. What the hell? Okay. Steve? Okay. If you ever cared about her, you never even liked her. Okay. So Steve's not the one that did the spray paint. It was Jimmy Boy Fuckface over here on the left. Because she's not miserable like you two. She actually cares about other people. The slut with the heart of gold. I told you to watch your mouth. Hey! I don't know what's gotten into you, man, but you don't talk to her that way. Get out of my face. Or what? Or what? You gonna fight me now, too? Huh? You gonna fight me now, too? Because you couldn't take Jonathan Byers. So I wouldn't. Steve said, sorry, Danny. I don't know. We haven't talked a lot. I mean, lately. Is there any place that your your parents don't know about that he might go? I, I don't know. I might. What? I don't know where he is, but I think I know how to ask him. Got our, the radio. We're going radio signaling. That fucking house is a wreck. See? Okay. Listen, that's something a lot of shows wouldn't do right there. Small details. A new person walking into this house, seeing this for the first time, a lot of other shows would have people just ignore it. They would just walk past it. No, taking a stop, just one second scene just to go, wow. Just adds emphasis to things, man. I got it. This is good. This is what I've been waiting for, a little bit of a lull period. They're connecting the dots, okay? Hopper and and um joyce with nancy and jonathan they got the clues talking about the damn the demon dude the demigorgon and now we got the kids hopper down knows about the kids they all know about the kids that the little girl's with them he knows not looking for will they're looking for this little girl they need to be looking for will and all this could be the puzzle pieces this is this is everything that they got here all this shit bing bam bop one circle pot let's get it come on mike respond brother Respond. Anybody got any other ideas? Yes, I got this. Hip hip. Mike, I'm here. 
over here. There we go, baby. Connect the dots. Who's up here cleaning this? You need to have fucking shit burn. I know Steve didn't do it, but Steve should be up there cleaning. I think it. There we go. There you go, Steve. Did you have something to do with this? I just. I want to help. Yeah, he wants to right his wrongs. God, dude, he's fucking. He got the shit beat out of him. Feels bad, man. You need a bag of frozen peas. All yours. Them old ass wooden ladders. Hey, can we can we move the ladder over a little bit? Give him a little better angle. Stop pacing, bro. Stop pacing. Thank you. Thank Stressing you everybody the fuck out. You know I was just about to say, bro, why was there two cars? Okay, hey, Chief Hooper, I need you to pull up right now, bro. You got three people you gotta lay out. They all oh my god, bro, they all got glizzies. What a weird time period where they wouldn't let you have beards in most jobs, but you could have a mustache. That's how my job was until like three years ago. You just have one of these big, goofy ass mustaches. Yeah, that's Hopper, bro. Hopper's got hands for whoever. Hip, hip. All right, let's go. Yeah, Indiana Jones, thanks for saving us, baby. Let's go! And that can change the directions of a compass needle. Skate underground? Yes. Yep. Yep. Near a large water tank? Mm-hmm. Yes. How, how do you know all that? Because Hooper be on his shit, brother. Have you seen I just love that everybody's together right now. I got cold chills. Everybody's hanging out together. That you could reach Will. That you could talk to him in this upside down. And my friend Barbara, can you find her too? Oh, I'll do the long look right there. This isn't about Barbara, okay? The bathtub. I forgot the fucking name of the episode was bathtub. Yeah. The more energy she uses, the more tired she gets. Like she took the van earlier. It was awesome. Oh, she's drained. Like a bad battery. How, how do we make her better? I just love that they know, like, they know she has powers and is going along with it. How and at her, this fucking mama buyer just being like, well, how long have we got to charge her? What? I can find them. 10 o'clock on Saturday. Why don't we pick this do up on... Do you know anything about sensory deprivation tanks? Specifically how to build one? Sensory deprivation? What, what is this for? Fun. Okay, well, why don't we talk about it Monday after school, okay? You always say we should never stop being curious. To always open any curiosity door we find. Dustin. Why are you uh, Cla He's door trying door? to open up some curiosity doors, and you're over here talking about <laughs> deprivation. <laughs> Take the fucking look on his face. My man's uh -huh. chilling over there with his uh, with his little lady, and you... Uh -huh. mm. That's all right. They're doing yep. something. They're, right. There's a yeah, bigger we'll picture here. Already. My brother. Listen to me. I'm gonna find it. There he goes, gripping the All shit right? out of him, bro. You gotta trust me on this. I am going to find it. Just grabbing the shit out of his shoulder. I hope he never has to, him and Nancy never do anything because he takes his clothes off. He's gonna be all bruised up. Bunch of handprints all over him from the chief. It's not gonna be a good image. But for Eleven to actually be around somebody that, that, that cares, a motherly individual, that's not, I think she needs a good parent around her. I think, I think that'd be good for her. Somebody just to kind of comfort her, whatever, what have you. Last time you were here, you opened that fucking portal gateway to Narnia.
The comforting voice of a mother. Isn't that crazy? Castle Byers. Real quick before that happens. Isn't that kind of crazy, though, with, the, with just the mother situation in general? Like, every kid and adults, too. Like, your mom is your, like, that, that's, your, that's your comfort. That's your safety blanket. That's your protector. Your knight in shining armor. Your mom says something's okay. It's okay. You're not going to let nothing bad happen to you. It's just that, like, I don't know. That sense. Even for her as a little girl, just to hear a calm, smoothing voice from a motherly figure that's not even her mother, but just hearing that, like, you're okay, you're, don't be afraid, we're with you. Oh. Too good. That's like a big ass, crusty booger. Man, they all heard that together. We're coming. We're coming. Okay, we're coming, honey. Just, just hold on a, a little longer. Will. Will. Oh, there's a disturbance in the force. Y'all need to take Will some fucking egos right now. That brother needs some egos. Will? I want to finish from the start. I want to kill him. Better put your big boy britches on then. You won't go up against this thing. At least we know Barbara's like for sure dead though. Not that that's a good thing, but we know that she's gone. Come on, trust me. Did they replace the fence? How the fuck y'all sneak into a police station? And you took their fire. What if the police station catches on fire? I do like that those small details. They went and got their, their weapons. They didn't just show up with them again. Oh my fuck. Don't move. All right, move in. All right. Let me do the talk. They doubled security because last time you was out there fucking giving everybody a cold cock knuckle sandwich. Hey, Will, bro, I know you're singing to comfort yourself, but you're making a whole lot of goddamn noise. Can that thing not come into the castle? Hey, bro, what the fuck? You just gonna have that thing blow over and that's how you're gonna end the... Oh my God. I thought I was gonna cut back to something else for a second. I realized it was close to the end. I'm sitting here thinking it can't come into the castle. Like, it's a, you know, you have the blanket on as a kid. Like, the monsters can't get you. But that fucking thing... I huffed and I puffed and I blew the house down. Eleven struggles to reach Will while Lucas warns that the bad men are coming. Nancy and Jonathan show the police that what Jonathan caught on camera... So the bathtub, they get the big, they get a big ass swimming pool. Reverse bobbing for apples, just floating. In the salt water after cock blocking Professor Clark. So they go into this. She's able to see the other side. We see Barbara's actually dead. We we all they all get to hear Will. Hopper gets to hear Will for the first time, as does Jonathan and Nancy. So they all get to hear that as a collective unit. So, if they weren't 100% sold yet, they're sold now. And then Hopper makes a decision to go back to the lab. Back to the lab again, you know? So, I think that's the smartest play when you break it down. I thought they were going back to Castle Byer for a second. I was like, you know how this works. So, he has to go back to the gate. But they have the kids still there. Good thing you didn't take 11 because that's they want her there. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know what they do in the next episode. Unless they just do a big cliffhanger to lead into the season two. Like, I feel like you have to get Will back. Or at least find him dead. Which would just send Mama, Mama Byers over the edge. And a little Troy, a little snitch-ass little kid, going to tell her some little bald-headed girl out there who can fly, or make you fly, and broke your arm. I'm glad that he t said that, because now they connected the dots together, but I'm just glad the whole group was together. I think that's my favorite part, is just seeing everybody right there as a singular unit. That's good stuff. I like that a lot. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and bounce. Let's go ahead and get to the finale. Check this out. See how it all wraps out at the end of season one. Uh, wow. Do I have anything else here for the outro? We just have an episode left. All right. On that note, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.